To be honest with you, I've avoided this subject for a while because honestly, I really, I'm not quite sure I understand. How many of us five years ago knew what a twin flame was? It's definitely a program that I'm not quite sure I understand. So that's why I wanna talk about it today, see where you guys are at on this journey, and maybe we can open up a dialogue and, you know, start to uh, learn from each other about this because I know we're all going through pretty intense situations with our soulmates and with our families and our connections, our relationships, our gateways to our enlightenment, right? So how can we learn? How can we grow from this? Maybe we can do it together. If you're open and you're not attached to a specific idea or a specific programming, then this is the video for you. Let's expand. Let's grow. Let's explore new territory here. I never want to limit myself and I never want to predispose myself to any kind of suffering. And I come from the ideology of attachment is suffering. On the twin flame journey, it seems that this particular programming is setting people up for more suffering. I don't really like to attach myself to these ideas. To me, this journey is all about merging the divine masculine and the divine feminine within myself. For me, I feel like the way to rise into my power is to not look outside myself for that wholeness. I am definitely on some sort of journey, but I don't completely adhere to the specific programming of the twin flame journey saying that I cannot ascend until I meet this individual, until I merge my consciousness with this other counterpart. That's where I have a hard time with it because to me, I feel that you and I and everyone who is devoted on this path are creators. We are whole. We are complete. The divine masculine and feminine aspects of our soul are already merged here and now. How can we go on to be, you know, these infinite beings within ourselves when we're searching outside of ourselves for wholeness? See, I think it's kind of a trap. And I just know that a lot of people are going through traumatizing experiences right now. They have a so-called twin flame that doesn't want to be with them or they have a twin flame that isn't awake to this experience. And it is traumatizing when you absolutely know in your soul that you're supposed to be with this person. You have work to do on a spiritual level and on a physical level, and yet that person is not showing up. So the separation phase of the twin flame journey is very traumatizing for people. They're constantly searching. They're constantly looking for a way to become whole, when in reality, they're already whole and complete in themselves as they are. I really feel that this, this twin flame journey is actually a way for spirit to show us where we're at. Before you even incarnated on the earth plane, you agreed to this on a soul level to have this experience, right? They're going to show you exactly where you're at. They're going to show you your wounds. They're just going to reflect everything back to you that you need to know about yourself. Until you observe those wounds that you've been holding deep down, latent energies that are wanting to be pushed to the surface to be healed. I just feel like we're not going to get that happily ever after until we do the happily ever after work within ourselves. Until we are fully whole, complete, and fine without them. I can only connect with him in a healthy way when I have done the work on myself. And I'm fully loving myself, appreciating myself, valuing myself. All I know is my healing is up to me. If I look outside of myself for that healing and that completion and that wholeness, I'm realizing I just suffer. That's what I'm coming to the conclusion of. Do the work on an inner level. Do the meditations. Change up your diet. Get outside in nature. You know, forgive your parents. Devote yourself to a practice. Do all of this stuff and you're going to come into that wholeness and that fruition. And I guarantee somebody's going to show up to mirror that back to you. 
I know this isn't easy. I don't have all the answers. <sighs> yeah. <laughs>